The federal government has warned Australia's big sporting codes they'll face funding cuts unless their women's teams are given the same travel entitlements as their male counterparts. Well, joining me now from Perth is Tessa Levy, a member of the Australian Opals and the captain of the Perth Lynx basketball team. Tessa, thanks very much for your time this evening. Now, basketball is the sport that ignited this debate back in 2012 when the women's team was made to travel in economy while the men yep. flew business class. Basketball players are tall and you're travelling to compete. So how much of a disadvantage would that have put the women's team at? Yeah, it's a huge disadvantage. There's um, actually studies that show that if you can lay down on a plane and if you can sleep, um, you get much better recovery than um, what you would if you had to sit up in um, economy. So it's highly important for what our results are. Um, we're going to get out there and we're going to try our hardest, but we need that. We need that those business seats to be able to perform at our highest. It's pretty outrageous, especially when the Opals were in fact the better performers. Can you imagine this happening now? And what's your experience been as an Opal? Yeah, that's it, exactly right. Um, for me, as an Opal, my experience has been awesome. Um, we're lucky enough that we can fly business now, um, considering what happened a couple of years back. Um, but obviously for me, I'm a bit shorter, but um, for the other girls, it's a, it's a huge advantage. They get to lay down and they get to sleep and they don't have to worry about um, hitting anyone in the back with their knees or anything like that. And um, I'm loving this opportunity with the Opals and um, I'm just happy for all females in sport that hopefully they can also get this opportunity. The issue of travel when it comes to gender imbalances in sport is just a starting ground. Yep. Where else would you like to see progress? What other areas? Um, just all sorts of things. Um, so obviously the travel is a really important part, but um, also with pay and stuff like that, um, we work hard exactly the same as guys and it'd be nice to see that equality in that area. Tell me about Perth Lynx because you're yep. the only team that's, uh, that's getting paid at the moment at a professional level, is that correct, within the WNBL? Yeah, that's exactly right. And um, with the Perth Lynx, we're lucky enough that this is our first year. Um, we've been taken over by the Wildcats, which is our men's team over here. And um, they've actually taken us under their wing. And we're very fortunate enough that we all players are fully professional. And that's the first time that that's happened in the WNBL. So we're really looking, you can see in our results as well that um, this is working. Um, we're on top of the ladder at the moment. And um, we're really looking for other clubs to follow suit because if we get that professionalism here, people are going to come, want to come and play here and that's going to boost our performance as well as Commonwealth Games and the Olympics coming across. Tessa, you are still fairly young, but how important yep. is it for you to advocate for these equal rights for those coming up in the sport behind you? Yep, it's very important. Um, I've heard from others in the past, um, Christy Harrower, she was very much about the equality and um, for me it's leading the way as well. You can't just sit there and wait for something to happen. You've got to get out there and be proactive and so it's better for the younger girls coming through and um, hopefully that can happen. All right, Tessa Levy, thanks so much for your time this evening and good luck. No worries, thanks very much for having me.